What should I do now? How should I explain this to my family? I'm tired of explaining the same thing. Look, now you can't do anything. Things are out of your control now. You just have to get married. But this is not the right time. This is not the age for getting married. Sadiq was about to get married in a few days. And he was very upset about the same. He doesn't want to get married so early. He was discussing with his friend about all this. And just then, he heard a voice of someone running behind him. Hello? Hello? Hey, where have you gone? Hey, uh, nothing. So, where was I? Sadiq didn't see anyone around him. But just then, he realized that someone was standing behind him. And then, he saw something which made him stunned and he couldn't utter a word from his mouth. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, you were telling me your age. Huh? Who are you? Hello? Hello, Sadiq? Are you okay? <laughs> I am your future. Hello, Sadiq? What are you saying, bro? Hey, brother. I am fine. At the behest of the Kazi, Shabana and Sadiq agreed to marry each other. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. The whole house erupted with joy. Sadiq's parents welcomed Shabana into their house with an open heart. Shabana was already in love with Sadiq. But Sadiq was not yet ready to marry her. Because of the family's coercion, Sadiq had to say yes to her. And Shabana also knew this. So she was a little surprised by the sudden change of Sadiq's behavior. Sadiq suddenly started being around Shabana, started taking care of her. Everyone noticed it and felt maybe this change in Sadiq's behavior is due to marriage. Shavana was very happy to see Sadiq taking care of her the whole day. And then, on one such night, Shavana asked Sadiq, Have you started liking me? Who would not like you, Shavana? I was mad. Who was not ready to marry you? Hearing this, Shavana got very happy. They both started loving each other. And after which, they got even more closer. Hearing the voice, Shavana also got up. Seeing Sadiq like this, she was very nervous. She immediately ran to call Sadiq's parents. The genie inside Sadiq started taking his form. He started acting like a strange creature in order to hide so that no one could know his reality. Sadiq jumped from the balcony from his room in the same condition. Sadiq's parents did not see all this, but Shabana had seen everything. She immediately went to the balcony and seeing such a horrifying sight, Shabana went into shock. Shabana, where, where is Sadiq? Sadiq? Is he alright? Why are you not saying anything? Shabana was still in shock. She could not utter a single word. Then Sadiq's mother asked, What's the matter, Shabana? Why are you not saying anything? And where is Sadiq? Shabana somehow gathered courage and pointed towards the jungle's direction. But no one could understand anything. Then Shabana said in a trembling voice, <laughs> Mom, he's not Sadiq. He is someone else. I, I have personally seen him. 
no one could understand what Shabana was saying. Just then, the doorbell rang. It was Sadiq on the door. There was blood on his clothes. And seeing it, they all got very scared. Sadiq said that he went to help an animal, on which his mother asked the reason for his stomach ache. Hearing this, Sadiq said that there is no pain in his stomach. He just went outside to help an animal. His parents trusted what Sadiq was saying. But Shabana knew that Sadiq was lying. They all went to sleep in their rooms and Shabana also didn't ask anything from Sadiq. She was just waiting for him to sleep. As soon as he slept, Shavana left for the forest. After going some distance ahead, she found the dead body of two dogs. Shavana immediately clicked a picture of it and came back. In the morning, she went to an exorcist and shared the whole incident with him. After listening to her, the exorcist said, your husband is possessed by a jinni. Hearing this, Shabana got scared, after which the exorcist said, Hmm, if you want to confirm it, then do one thing. Get a dead and cooked chicken for him today. You will get to know each and everything. And take this amulet. It will save you from that devil. Whenever his anger goes out of control, just put this ash on him and take him to me. Shavana did exactly what the exorcist said. As soon as he smelled the chicken, he went straight towards the kitchen and started eating that uncooked chicken like an animal. Seeing this, Shavana confirmed that Sadiq is possessed by a chili. She secretly made a video of him and showed it to his parents and also told them what the exorcist said today. On hearing this, his parents were shocked. He put that ash given by the exorcist on Sadiq, by which he got unconscious. And as soon as they got the chance, they took him to the exorcist. Uh, Mom? Dad? Where am I? Shabana, what is happening with me? Tell me, who are you? Hey, what are you doing? Now will you say something or not? Hey, what am I supposed to say? Say whoever you are. What are you saying? I can't understand anything. Uh, will you tell your reality or not? Uh. I have no idea what you are asking me. Even after the repeated attempts by the exorcist, he didn't say anything. But still, the exorcist kept asking him. Now will you tell me or not? <sighs> Why don't you just understand? Everyone skipped a heartbeat by seeing such a horrifying incident in front of them. <clears throat> What are you doing in Sadek's body? I want to live on the earth. That is why I have possessed him. <laughs> Even after knowing all this, you can't do anything about it. No matter how much you try, but you can't hurt me. <laughs> I have been sent by a devil on the earth. I am here to grow my base. I wish to have a baby from Shabana, and that is why I have married her. The day when she will give me the child of my own race, then I'll continue to look for another Shabana to fulfill my inner desire. Ifrit is a very dangerous genie. They just went to take over the earth by increasing their races. These genies come themselves or send their slaves to the earth to do this work. On knowing about Ifrit, Baba said, Hey, I will not let you fulfill your wish. <laughs> I have already fulfilled my wish. Shavana has my child in her womb. <laughs> 
Hearing this, they all got scared. Because Ginny's son in the Shabana's womb was a clear sign of destruction on earth. Shabana doesn't want it to keep Ginny's child in her womb. After which, she said, I won't keep your child in my womb. Hey, you have to do this. Otherwise, I'll kill you. <laughs> now you can't do anything to Shabana. I'll not let you harm this girl. <sighs> now just see what I can do. <laughs> hey poor man, have you seen my abilities? <laughs> After getting free, Ginny tried to get a hold of Shabana. But because of that amulet, he couldn't even touch her. Oh, okay. So you have already done all the preparations to save yourself. Never mind. If you don't remove this amulet, then I'll kill your husband, Sadek, right away. So are you ready? After hearing this, Shavana got very nervous. In order to save Sadiq, she removed the amulet immediately. As soon as Shabana did this, the genie imprisoned her. After seeing all this, everybody started requesting the genie to leave Shabana. But the genie wasn't ready to leave her. Just then, genie again had a stomachache and he started shouting in pain. Seeing this, the exorcist made a circle with the ash around the genie and Shabana. After doing this, the genie was unable to get himself out the circle. <laughs> this is not done. I'll not leave you alive. <laughs> Nobody could understand anything. On asking, the exorcist said that these genies have to hunt from time to time and drink the blood from their prey. If they don't do this, then they will lose their lives. That's why the exorcist imprisoned him in the circle, so that he can't harm anybody. But Shabana is also inside the circle. What if he kills Shabana? Shabana has his child in her womb, no matter what happens, but he will not hurt Shabana at any cost. That genie had no way out left. He was in so unbearable pain that he left Sadik's body and was suffering from pain on the floor. <laughs> leave me! Just leave me! This is not your place. You belong to hell. <sighs> the exorcist was repeatedly putting the ash on Jinny, due to which now he was even in more pain. In some time, the Jinny turned into ashes. As soon as he died, Shabana also got unconscious. And she opened her eyes directly in the hospital. Shabana, as soon as that Jinny died, his child also died in your womb. That's good. I didn't even want to give birth to that child. On regaining consequences, Sadiq was told about the whole matter. Due to the position of Ginny, Sadiq didn't remember anything from his marriage till now. After knowing all this, he proposed to Shabana for marrying her again. Shabana, you have to marry me again. And this time, you will just marry me, not to someone else. Sadiq, Shabana and their parents think it is right to forget the dark days as their terrifying dream and also try to live their life from a new perspective. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment and to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.